So we're given a sequence in this case, and we're trying to find uh, an explicit formula. So we're trying to find a formula that will help us quickly determine what a future term might be, maybe the 50th term or the 20th term or something like that. So we want to try to develop this formula now. Well, we have to figure out what, a, what the original explicit formula is for a geometric sequence. And that's this one right here. We know that it's geometric because it's not, it doesn't have the same difference between all of these. Between negative 1 and 2, there are 3 numbers between there. Uh, between 2 and negative 4, there are 6. So it keeps changing all the time. But it ha it's being multiplied by the same factor. We call that a common ratio. So that's how we know that it's a geometric sequence. So with the geometric sequence here, a sub n, this will work for all of them, a sub 1 is the first term in the sequence, r is the ratio, and then this n minus 1 will just remain the same when we're trying to develop this formula. So we know what a sub 1 is, that's the first term, so in this case it's negative 1. It's the very first one that's listed. Now in order to find the ratio, it's a little bit more complicated, not too bad. So we're trying to find this, and what we do is we take any two, and it doesn't really matter which two, but they need to be right next to each other. I'm going to choose to take these first two. And I'm going to um, take this 2 and divide it by negative 1. Okay, well, 2 divided by negative 1 would give me negative 2. We need to also check to make sure it's going to work for all of these. So um, there's only a couple here, and it's really easy to do. Negative 4 divided by 2 would also give me negative 2, and 8 divided by negative 4 would also give me negative 2. So that's why you can see there's a common ratio there is what we call it. Basically, it's being, every one of them is being multiplied by negative 2. So if we continued this one along, it would be 8 times negative 2, which would be negative 16, and you could keep going there. Well, now that we have this information, let's clear out uh, any confusion there. Now we know the first term is negative 1, and the ratio, the common ratio is negative 2. Now we can just kind of fill this in. So we're trying to look for a sub n. a sub 1, we know, is negative 1. Uh, and then the ratio is negative 2. I like to put these in parentheses. It's going to make it very easy whenever you try to use this formula in the future. Um, because you can just plug it into your calculator. Calculator can do all the hard work. And then this n minus 1 is just going to stay there. So this would be your uh, formula for this. The big thing is you just got to know the first term and what the common ratio is. Then you can find your formula very easily.